everyone, welcome to my craft. Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room. Uh, apologies, I'm going a little bit early today. Um, I uh, want to get this video done and then take my dogs for a walk before things get too cold and dark. Which, if you know Hobart, it happens pretty quick this time of day, this time of year. Anyway, so hopefully you can see. Okay, I'm just uh, mucking around with my computer. Forgive me for a second. Uh, where are you? Here we are. You can see that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Anyway, um, as I say, welcome to my craft room. Today I'm going to be featuring the Floral Essence stamp set from Stamping Up. It's in our current um, annual catalogue and goes beautifully with two punches. This one here is the three petal flower, which is quite cute. And this is a little three leaves here as well which goes perfectly with the leaves in the set as well so we'll be using both of those at some stage during today uh, these two cards that I'm featuring today are actually from I'm hoping to feature them in my next month um, my next month's online classes so there'll be actually five cards so I'll bring in the others and show you but um, these this one here is is a quite a cute little one with just some stamped images and uh, some beautiful ribbon. This is my favourite ribbon, as, as everyone knows. Um, and um, this one here is a double easel card. I don't know if you can see that from the angle you guys are at, but it sits up like that, really lovely, on the sh on the shelf for display. Uh, and you you get to do you know lots and lots of panels to uh, to decorate, which is really good. So that's two of the cards. They're the two that I'm going to be making today. Um, the other cards I'll be featuring in my class are these ones here. There's this cute one here. It uses the um, the designer series paper that comes with the floral essence. And it, to be honest, it's one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see. It's got some beautiful Monet sort of inspired flowers, the colours. Again, we're featuring that flower with some bling. And this one just sort of opens halfway, which is really quite unusual. I like that. And the sort of little um, leaves poke out through the bottom there. So I quite like that one. Another card we'll be featuring is just so simple. It's just a plain white card um, with some of those flowers and some leaves and a bit of stamping inside. So you don't get much simpler than that, but it's really quite effective. And the final one is a little bit more... Um, a little bit more to it. These are three of the beautiful flowers and some of the, the uh, laser cut paper in behind. So as I say, all together that's the five cards that I'm hoping to uh, feature next month. Um, but today I thought I'd just run through these two here just as part of my um, part of my uh, you know um, business page videos. Okay so let's make a start. We might make this one first. Somebody just pulled up outside. I hope they're not coming to visit me. Anyway, so I'm going to put. Uh, don't, don't worry about the measurements. I'm going to put them all on um, in the comments or in my blog afterwards. So if you'll see, there'll be the um, the um, links to my blog um, in the in the comments or in the description. So we'll make this one first. So let's get started. Uh, who was on? Hi, Wendy. Thanks for sharing. Who else have I got? Michelle, hey, thanks for joining me. Can't see anyone else's names there, apologies. There were some more up. Margie's here. Hi Margie and Chrissy and Hannah. Hi. Hi guys. Okay, so to make this card, you've got oh I've got um, snowflakes all over the place. You can tell what I've been doing today. Look here, I've made snowflakes. <laughs> I've been making Christmas cards, making a bit of start on Christmas cards. And I don't know, you guys that have been around a while will recognise that. That's the blizzard. It's what comes out of the blizzard die set. It's an old retired one, but goody. You know, makes lots of snow. Which is probably not what we need here in Hobart at the moment. Um, anyway, so, okay. So, on with current things. Um, okay, so, here I have a sort of a, um, it'll be a portrait card cut. It's uh, 11 and... Um, half centimeters long uh, four and an eighth no eleven and a half inches long four and an eighth inches wide and it's scored at five and three quarters so you've got a lengthways card there we've got a panel for inside which is a standard an eighth of an inch 
smaller in all directions um, and the part that makes it quite special is this little part here which fits on the front so this one is actually I've got to get it right now three and seven eighths wide um, 11 long inches and it's scored at five and a half and two and three quarters so that's sort of in half scored in half and then half again so you get that sort of Z look okay so that one pops on there on the finished card but we're not quite ready to get there yet we also have a piece of the beautiful um, perennial essence or floral, floral, floral essence DSP um, which is cut uh, half an inch smaller so it's a bigger gap you can see there as I say I'll put all the measurements in it's hard for me to remember what I've done now so the first part of the card is very simple we're just basically connecting um, attaching this DSP to the top panel of our double easel just with some glue I mean how do you how do you choose which side to cover over I mean I love this side as well I think that goes better with my petal pink but look at that that's just divine anyway oh you can see I nearly did it so we're just gluing this panel directly onto our easel the top of our easel if our glue will work no that one's going to die on me I'll get another one here we go okay so we're just gluing that on there to the top part this card is just so simple and effective I think just adds a little bit of interest with that extra fold so you can see it's quite a big margin around the edge there between the petal pink and the DSP just even that up a little bit with our wonderful glue hi Pamela thanks for joining me I'm oh, Sharon's here hey Sharon how's beautiful New Zealand anyway, so we've got that little piece of DSP on there so before I start attaching anything else I'm going to do put some ribbon on that so I've got our, our polka dot ribbon here and I'm just going to wrap that around and tie a bow if you guys can not watch because this can be painful so I'm going to might secure that at the back with some tear and tape if I've got some here or some double sided tape I think this is just normal double sided tape but tear and tape's just as good so I just put a couple of little just a couple of centimetre pieces of tear and tape on the reverse side roughly where you want your ribbon to be secured and then rip off the cover and we'll feed our ribbon around where we want it to be so that it will attach itself on the double sided tape as even as I can make sure you don't attach your card to the shelf to the um, paper oh, it's got a bit of a cut looks a bit funny there probably got far too much here but that's all right I've got another one there and we'll tie a bow as I say don't watch this can be painful it hurts me much more than it hurts you there we go oh, it's not going too badly Go. Oh, there we go. No, don't like it. Eek. Okay, take two. Anyway, you know, go and make a cup of coffee or something while I strangle this bow. I'm sure it'll be perfect when you get back. Not. Okay, this one's looking better. Okay, that's not bad. It's just a bit kinked there. But I won't torture it any longer. I mean, it, it's quite nice to have that sort of... quite sort of a rustic look to it, I suppose you could call it. I don't know. My mother would be ashamed 
with my bow tying skills. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so we're just adding a bit of interest with that bow. There you go. There you go. Lovely. You just did make a cup of coffee, did you, Chrissy? Yeah, we'll have to go and make another one. There you go. Done there. That's my ribbon there. So we'll move on from that and uh, we'll pop our card onto our, um, our, our little smaller card onto our. There, I hope I haven't lost my reception. No. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to attach that to here. So basically we're going to get like um, our, our card is open there and we're going to have this one on the front there like that. So I'll just use some glue for that. And attach that there. Take my glasses off so I can see. There we are. Just as even and as straight as you can that down so we've got that there that's quite sweet I like it there that's quite nice okay so we've got that there like that okay so now we can decorate this front piece <clears throat> so I've got a smaller piece again excuse me my voice has gone croaky a smaller piece again of the um, petal pink which just fits on that front panel there like that so it sits in line with our DSP so it's the same width it must be uh, three and seven eighths wide, but as long as it's the same width of your DSP, it fits in quite nice. I'm just going to pop that through my big shot with the um, basket weave embossing mat just to give us a little bit of interest. So just bear with me while I pop that through. So here we go, we've got our little embossed basket weave. I love this one, it's just so handy. So we're going to pop that on the front there, just with some glue. And when you emboss, you have to use a fair bit of glue just to get it to, to get into the, into the nooks and crannies so you can actually get a proper, a proper fit, a proper adhesion. So we'll pop that on the front there. And then while that um, dries we'll go on with our the rest of our decorating preparing them so I might just leave that one on there just to dry and secure and then what we're going to do is make ourselves a little flower and some leaves with the punches that can't that uh, that uh, match the, the set so here I've got a scrap of flirty flamingo and a slap scrap of um, pear pizzazz so I'm going to use, finally get the, the stamp set out, if you wondered what, what I was bothering for. So we're going to use this little three petaled flower. I'm going to stamp two. I'm going to do petal pink on, petal pink ink on petal pink um, card. Just so you get a two tone effect. We'll get a block. I'm just actually just reading the, uh, the uh, yes, the, the uh, critique of my bow tying. Yes, I've got two boys. Anyone who doesn't know that, I do have boys and bows were not big in my family. Although my mum used to tie them in my hair all the time as a, ba as a child, but never actually did it myself. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp two little flowers with the, with the flirty flamingo on the flirty flamingo card. Here we are, and then I'm going to punch them out with the punch. I think punches are a great way for, especially for beginner stampers. You don't have to worry with, you've got like all in, all in included um, cutting technique. You don't need your big shot, you don't need the plates. You've just got your punch, one squeeze, and you can move on. There you go, so that's that one. Plus I'm going to use pear pizzazz ink to do the little um, little leaves from the set as well 
on the papers as cardstock. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to do two of those. One and two. The only thing to remember when you're doing um, stamping and your punches to make sure you've got um, your image is nice and close to the edge so your punch will fit and in the right orientation because um, it's a bit tricky to try and feed through if it's if it's at the wrong the wrong way up so that one's fine and whoops that one so I've got my two little leaves as well Okay, so two little uh, flowers and two leaves. So what I'm going to do is combine the two um, flower parts together to give us a, a beautiful um, six-petaled flower. So just line, with some glue, just line the both of those up and glue them together. Then we'll bring back in our card, which is here, and hopefully nice and dry. And then we can pop our... We've got our leaves and our petals and our flower. I'm going to pop, just getting a position right, I'm going to put the flower, and I'm just getting that from my other one, putting the flower in the top right hand corner of that little um, panel. I'm going to position um, one of the leaves coming in that way. Coming out that way and the other one sort of as long as it doesn't point, sort of over, come too far out the side, it can actually stick up quite a bit, just to give it a little bit of interest above the top of the card. So that's the position for my two leaves. Oh, lost that one. So I'm just going to glue them down, hoping I can re reposition them. Okay, let's pop that back in again. That's going to be there. that one in there so that's okay so again need a little bit of glue on those because of the basket weave of the of the embossed panel and then with this one going to be sort of sticking up the top I'm just going to put some glue on that lower part of that stem and pop that as high up as I can there okay so you see that there that one sort of oh it's off on my finger in a piece of cardstock just to so I can move my finger away there we go okay so I will glue my flower in place just here there we go and it has a bit of bling it has one of the the original has one of the beautiful gold um, faceted um, gems there which I didn't get out. I didn't prepare that very well. Oh, where are they? No, I can't find them. Anyway, you can bling that up with the faceted gem like I have with this, the original one. So with the, the gem there. Max gives it a bit of extra oomph. All that's left to do now is the panel for the inside. And I've got a bit of sticking happening. That's all right. So the panel for the inside of this one, pop those aside. So this is my panel, I hope. I'll just check the size. Yes, that's our panel. So what I might do with that is actually get, there's some other beautiful flowers in this set. I'll get this large one here. It's a really large, beautiful um, sort of bloss, uh, bloom flower. Pop that there. And I'm going to do that in petal pink as well just to cover, just to bring the colour from the outside into the inside. Just pop it down here in the corner, which is what I usually do when I'm doing these things, just in the corner, just so it doesn't get in the way of, of, the, um, of the sentiment. And then I'm going to pop the leaves and again I'm going to use the pear pizzazz. Get 
Again, I'm going to use the pear pizzazz just to give it a little couple of leaves. One coming sort of off there like that. And another one coming up like that. Cool. Oh, and it does have, it needs a little centre. That uh, flower needs a little centre. And there is a little centre in the in the stamp set. And I'm going to find my so saffron. Here's my so saffron. I'm just going to give it a little centre. Um, in, this, in the set, you can see you've got a little round um, flower middle. So I'll just get that with my so saffron and pop that in there. Okay, so that's the centre of that card. I haven't put a sentiment in the inside of that one, um, but I think it's quite, you could pop one from the set in there if you wanted to. So we'll just attach that inside. And that's that one done. Okay. Okay, so that one's that one done. Uh, what does everyone think of that? So there we are. That's our double easel there. That's how it sits up on the dis on display. Quite pretty, I like that. I like that one. That's a little bit unusual. Yes, Michelle, it's very very cold down here. I went for a walk this morning and I uh, had to put my scarf and my gloves on and it was uh, I was thinking to myself this is a walk for pleasure and I'm really not enjoying it so I did just a quickie anyway home for now and I've got the heater on okay so that's the first card we're going to do today um, the second one we'll do is this one here with um, the different flower from the set um, this one I've got as this one here I've got as a um, portrait card, but the one I'm going to do for you will be a no. Wait a minute, that's a yeah, that's a portrait card. I'm going to do this one, the other orientation, so it opens at the side, not the top. Okay, okay. So for this one, I have a card base. Now this is the Whisper White thick cardstock, and if you've compared the thick cardstock to the um, normal cardstock, you realise that it's a lot. Um, thicker as the uh, description says it just stands up so much nicer as a card base it just has that much more structure to it so I've got a panel of that I mean a card base of that one and I've got a panel a mat of just normal whisper white which I'm going to be stamping on I've also got from the layered circles I've got a circle of um, petal pink and a circle of whisper white which just fits perfectly on that one there. I think that's the smallest or second from smallest in the set. I'll pop that aside and our card base aside for a minute and we'll just get on with our stamping. <clears throat> so to stamp with this one I've got there's I've used there's some other beautiful flowers in here. There's a large flower here that fill and a smaller one there. So and I'm going to use those in again petal pink which seems to be my go-to colour at the moment. So I'll pop them on a block. I'll clean these off after I'm done. <clears throat> okay, so we'll start with our big one. When I'm doing um, lots of different designs, lots of different stamps here like this one, sort of making a, a pattern, I'd start with the big stamp and then I'll fill in the insides with the smaller stamp. So that's what just what I find easier. So here we have some petal pink. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's gone croaky. Just have a look at the comments. Sorry, guys, I can't see at the same time as doing. Hey, Marion, thanks for joining me. Okay, so we've got the big of the two, bigger of the two flowers here, and I'm just going to um, stamp all the way around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get a. I've got a small foam um, mat. This is the foam mat from the Stamparatus. And I think with this the photo polymer stamps, it just makes it so much, gives a better result if you've got a bit of a foam mat under there for some of them. And, and this happens to be one of them. So I'm just going to stamp my little flower. I'm just sort of following 
somebody says I'm doing things randomly with me it's never exactly random I can't bring myself to be totally random with things a bit uh, a bit um, a bit picky like that so we've got there okay so that's our big flower I might just do the same with the smaller of the two him on there so I've left some spaces around so the smaller flower hopefully will fit nicely into those little spaces we'll pop one there and might have made that a little bit close together So I'll just pop those around there. I've added a few more than my original, so it's all right. I hope it doesn't look too... That looks all right. Okay, uh, so also in the set we've got a cute little um, leaf. It's just a, ooh, just a, a leaf rather than um, just an outline of a leaf. So I'm going to pop some of those in as well, just in the gaps. And I'm going to use the... Uh, uh, pear pizzazz again. Yep, I'm going to use the pear pizzazz. So here we go. I'm just going to pop those in the sort of the gaps, so they look like they're coming out of the leaves to a certain degree. Forgive me if you can see the top of my head there. the silence I'm sort of creating at the same time there we go just a few of those just to give a little bit of extra color so on the original card I've actually colored those in so I've colored those in I think in light what have I colored those in light old olive I believe let me find my light old olive See that happen very often. A light old olive came apart. Anyway, let's try the other end. So we'll just colour those in just roughly uh, with this one. There we go. Do you like my new watch? I bought myself a new Garmin today. I did have a Fitbit before. Not, not that I'm um, advertising any particular colour, any particular brand. Um, I thought I'd try something that looked a bit, a bit watchier. So I'll, um, I'm quite proud of that. I'm going to uh, obviously be so much fitter now that I have a fitness watch. It's going to make me um, a superb athlete. Um, Probably not. Anyway, it's all good. It's quite, uh, quite glad to have a new one. Okay, just there you go. Just roughly coloured those flowers in. That's quite nice, I think. Um, and then we've got some uh, little centres for these flowers as well. So I'll just grab a little block. We've got a small centre and a big centre in the set. There's a big centre. No, that's the wrong one. There we go. There's a small centre and a larger centre. So I'll just do this one. I think this is the small centre. And again in So Saffron. Just in the smaller of the blooms. 
just pop around. There we go. Just lifts that a little bit. It gives it a little bit of interest when you've got those all coloured in. Here's another one. Okay, now I'll do the big ones. Where to put that there? And we'll just go and stamp those in. Oop, rotating a bit. There we go. So that's quite sweet. I like that. Okay, so there's not much to finishing this one now. It's pretty much just a pretty straightforward. Um, I have got some ribbon on this one. And again, here I've used the Petal Pink um, Organdy ribbon, um, which I think is one of my favourite things in the whole world. I've actually just popped it around, the similar as I did with the other card. Popped it um, across the card and then added another bow so I should have tied that before I got on air because we're all going to have to sit and watch me do it again which I know is excruciating so I'll just add a single layer of the ribbon from one side around to the other side just with some double sided tape and then I'm going to add a bow but I might add that after I've put the sentiment on so I'm just going to attach that now to my card base remember that one doesn't work just attach that now to my card base I'm going to stamp my sentiment on here. So I'm going to use the um, the pear, um, pear pizzazz to stamp the sentiment. And I'm going to use the sentiment from the set. So this sentiment says, all days are beautiful that begin with you. So I think that's quite sweet. Lots of people who make our days special. Stamp that on the on the little white circle. As I mentioned, that's those circles are from the layered circle dies. There we go. That one fits in that circle quite perfectly. Then I will glue it to the petal pink scalloped circle. Some dimensionals. That wasn't my dimensionals. Oh, everything's fallen apart. That one on some dimensionals onto our card, just there in line with the ribbon. Actually, I've got to put the ribbon a bit lower on this one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's quite good. Put some dimensionals on there. just traps our ribbon in place with its dimensionals there and then I'm going to pop I'm going to do some more little leaves with our their punch so I've got this one here this little leaf uh, from the set in the hair pizzazz left myself enough room in my little scrap of pear pizzazz paper or cardstock I think I have yeah. grab our punch
going to just position one leaf coming up out of it that way and the other one coming from the bottom up like that just to give it a little bit of interest there so just use some glue put one up in there so I can avoid the um, the dimensional get it in there somewhere and that one as well is coming up there cool okay so I think that oh my bow oh I nearly avoided the bow anyway I'll do a bow I think I actually find this ribbon easier to do bows with because it's got more it's stiffer and it doesn't it doesn't um, doesn't crumple so easily There we go, just bring that in. No, hate it. <laughs> oh my lord. Me and bows. I've got one of the bow jigs around somewhere which I find really handy. But I've lost it at the moment. I can't find it. I'm looking desperately for it everywhere. Maybe I need to leave longer there so I don't lose it underneath. <laughs> okay, I give up. There's going to be a bow there, but I'm not putting it now because it's too excruciatingly painful to watch. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's the second of our cards from the Floral Essences card set I have, have put that a little bit lower there but that's fine so there we go so I can do a bow and that's it there but I'm not doing it today because I'm sick of bows anyway <laughs> cool so that's the two cards I was going to show you today so it uses the floral essences um, stamp set from Stamping Up um, which is in the current annual catalogue just bring it back into shot so I can put the petals on there so this is this one here I think we've used just about every one of those stamps in today's demonstration. Um, okay, so as I say, it goes beautifully with these two punches, the one of the leaves and one of the little flower. Okay, so that's all the crafting I was going to show you today. I was just going to bring in quickly and briefly the new holiday catalogue, which um, is on pre pre-order thank you Michelle yes I'll try bunny ears I'll practice off off camera um, which um, at the moment is on pre-order for demonstrators so if you would like to um, pre-order um, products from this catalogue um, the easiest way to do that is to join my team the chatty stampers and the link to do that will be in the description of this video I can't show you inside at the moment but trust me there are some amazing holiday stamps um, holiday Christmas uh, Thanksgiving, Halloween, if that's what you think. Um, probably not so much in Australia, but um, there's some great um, Christmassy themed things in there for um, the coming season. So hopefully I will have my first order from this arrive during next week. And so next week's video I will feature a card um, using one of the stamp sets from the new holiday catalogue. Um, if you would like me to send you a copy of the catalogue when I get my order, which should be, as I say, during next week, just drop me a message or go to my sign-up page um, or my business page and pop your details in there and I will get you a copy of the holiday catalogue as soon as I receive mine. As I say, it's really exciting. It's got some lovely designs in there and uh, let's face it, we all need to start making our Christmas cards very soon as I have been doing here with my lots of lovely snowflakes um, okay so as I say let me know if you'd like a copy of this one and I will pop it in the post for you as soon as I get mine um, thank you for bearing with me today and my bow nightmare um, I will catch you all during the um, during during next week uh, have a great weekend I've got snowflakes everywhere and uh, I'll catch you next week and um, have a great uh, weekend and keep safe. Okay, thanks everyone.
Oh, wait, let me finish it. Finish! Sorry, guys.